Jeremy Jones and his team are living a long-awaited dream, snowboarding the untouched mountains 60 miles from Haines, Alaska. There's no lodge, no snowmobiles, and no help in the event of an accident. Everything they ride, they must approach and climb on foot. And that means no helicopters. Choppers aren't allowed into this part of the world. The helicopters, an aerial ambulance equipped with the oxygen, backboards, what have you. So we're totally off belay now and doing stuff bottom up and it's gonna take every bit of knowledge to do that safely. As Jeremy and his team finish their first day of riding, he realizes that they're in for some weather. And we're gonna weather out a storm. It's gonna be great. Felt too attached to the outside world with clear weather. If the planes can't land, they won't get their much needed food drop. They have less than 10 days for the weather to clear before they're in real danger. Alaska is known for its violent and unrelenting weather. Storms can materialize out of nothing and go on for weeks. Did it snow? <laughs> yeah, spirits are high. Oh, you should just take a listen to this real quick. Feel it. The storm shows no sign of letting up. And for the team, the close quarters are getting even closer. Oh, they have a feud, 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 feud. Feud going on. I think four days in, it's getting a bit fractious. Because of the old uh, snow. Some people, not that used to being stuck in a tent with, in a snowstorm, get a bit. Ooh, look at them. All right, and uh, so I had to cook up some dinner. And I'm vegetarian, so it's not going down too well with the mountain men, being a you know, poncy vegetarian. Their first day of success was only a tease. It's now a week later, and they're no closer to their goal. At this rate, they'll have to abandon camp and risk trying to skin 60 miles out of the mountains. Starting to think about skiing to the ocean one of these days. What's on the agenda for today, Rice? We're gonna go dig our tent out, which is six feet under snow at the far end. Your day gone. It's good, it's going by so fast. <laughs> For seven long days, the storm continues, and as food is becoming an issue, the guys have to think the unthinkable. If they have to, how do they get out? We're now on rations, which Tom Burt is vigilantly overseeing our rationing. Sounds like Alaska. How's the sanity level? I remember what snowboarding was like. It's a long time ago. Our options are a little bit limited right now, and the angst is certainly starting to creep in. Next week on Jeremy Jones Deeper, Jeremy and his team continue to weather out the storm. Day 10. Eight days in the tent, two days outside. Awesome. We're experimenting. With what? Weather insanity. Trying not to go crazy by sitting around doing absolutely nothing. We've actually got two days of food left and we've no idea when this storm is gonna finish. And after that, we don't know.